Sade. What's up? Hey, 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 hey. Sade. With the, what, what color is your hair again? Blue? Purple? No, yeah. blue. <laughs> right. Blue. That's, that's, that's what's up, man. The, the, the blue hair driver. That's what I'm going to start calling you. The blue hair driver. All right. All right. <laughs> so you, 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 you reached out to your boy. As always, mm-hmm. thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I appreciate welcome. it. You know, you know, that's what's up. That's what's up. Your question to me was Freightliner or International? Which one and why? And you're thinking about going leasing. So before we get into, you know, what 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 I think uh as far as the equipment goes, why mm-hmm. why are you considering leasing more money isn't that always like you know the the main drive um that that also as having not necessarily a little more control but like how can i say just wanting to grow just wanting to grow in the industry See if I, it's something I can master. See if it's something that I could try my hand at and it'll work out for me, you know? Okay, okay. Now, you now so far, because I, I commented on your posts all the time, and the last post was the fact that uh, you two years or one year? One year. All right, so you got a year in. You got a year under mm-hmm. your belt, which is which is good because you got a year in under your belt and trying to understand what trucking is all about. Now, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Now, did somebody kind of like, I don't know, kind of like influenced you to go leasing? Like if somebody from your company, right? Let's say, let's say your fleet manager calls you up and this is from experience, by the way, your fleet manager calls you up and be like, Hey, um, we see you doing good out there. And you've been with us for about a year. Uh, would you like to have a little bit more control and 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 try leasing? You'll get a you get paid a little bit more and and you get the and you get to call the shots as far as when you want to go home. Did somebody from your company kind of did that to you? You know, I've had that happen to me before at my last job. They would do that because they had a whole, I feel like they had a whole like department who would do that and be like oh you run enough miles to cover your cost if you was to do it but no i they this company hasn't done me like that i've just been talking to other drivers um what really sparked me was i talked to a driver yesterday and he said he gets paid by the percentage Mm. i've always heard cents or dollar and cents per mile right Mm -hmm. and I'm like, when he said percentage, my ears kind of perked up, and I'm like, what? I'm like, no, you mean, you know, cents, you know, a dollar and some cents per mile. He's like, no, I get paid percentage of the load, and he said, when I get a load, I see the end dollar amount, and I pick, choose, and refuse what I want to do that load. Let let me hold you over right there. (laughs) Now, I, I know talking to other drivers, is is a good thing. It's don't 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 let me steer you wrong in that. All right. Right. Talking to different right. drivers, getting different opinions, getting different ideas of how they do stuff. Okay. Right. Now a, a lot of a, a lot of drivers like to come on TikTok and over indulge what they do. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They'll say like, yeah. "Oh well, I make." tens of thousands of dollars and all like that and you you know you being the new driver and being somebody influential you know you like sitting there like hmm that sounds yeah, you good get stars in your eyes right yeah. right you you be like that that sounds good that's let me do it yeah <laughs> and then you 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 go and do it and then you come to find out like wait this ain't all it cracked up to me. Right, right, right. So, so on that part right there, get, you know, talk to him, but get a little bit more 
uh, from another driver perspective. Like a lot of drivers, they 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 talk about what what's the good. Like they talk about, mm -hmm. I make this kind of money and I make that kind of money and and this is what I do and I'm I'm happy and all like that. Talk to a driver that done it and failed at it. See how many drivers oh. will come out and say that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, look, you know, I I have had those conversations because my mind has always been, I ain't trying to leave. You know what I mean? Um, I talked to four different drivers while I was here. And um, out of the four, he was the only one that said he gets paid percentage by mile. And then when I talked to the other three, they were like, you know, they offered different options. One was a dedicated route owner op. One was the OTR owner op. Um, the guy who was saying he was getting paid percentage, he's the OTR owner op. Um, the other young lady I was talking to, we didn't even divulge if she was OTR. I believe she was OTR from what I believe or remember from our conversation. But he was the only one that said percentage. But then when I spoke to the other three drivers, they said, well, they do offer different programs, different leases. So I was like, well, let me look into the lease. But then before I did that, I did voice a concern of, you know, maintenance. You know, usually you go with a company, they might have a maintenance plan, things like that of that nature. Um, but then I really wanted to talk to the mechanic. So I went in the shop, I talked to one of the mechanics. I'm gonna talk to some more and start talking to them about, you know, maintenance. And one in particular stood out and he said, I say international over Freightliner because of the Cummins engine. It's better than the freight, Freightliner engine and that Freightliner has a lot of electrical issues. Um, okay. more so than the international. So, so I was like, okay, but I've always heard no international Freightliner over international, but I just sat in the international. Don't seem too bad on the inside, mm -hmm. but of course I want to know about under the hood and those costs. And he said Cummins is cheaper with their repairs and things like that, of that nature. Okay. So, so Sade, it sounds like you, 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 you doing it. So I'm going to commend you for, for you know, for taking you know taking the route that you're taking and getting a little bit more information before you actually jump into leasing without you know with with your eyes closed and everything. Now for me, yeah. Now for me, as far as leasing goes, I you know I'm 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 not a fan of company <laughs> leasing. Okay. And I, okay. I, and I'll and I'll say why. Like company leasing, yeah, you know, they 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 they'll try to get you to freight. They'll try to get you to you know. They'll try to get you this, that, and the third. But sometimes it can go way way left. Okay, but mm -hmm. but don't company leasing. On the other hand, if you the type of person that you want to get in get your money and get out because with leasing, let me explain something with leasing. Everything is your responsibility, your taxes, right. your maintenance, your fuel, everything is going to be your responsibility. So you got to make sure yeah. as far as, as far as taxes go, because you can, once you become 1099, that can go way, way left as well if you don't have a good CPA to to, to run your taxes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, you probably mm -hmm. might be the type of driver or a type of person that be like, well, I got $5,000 at the end of the week, but that's your gross. After taxes, right. then you got to... What pay. is it looking like then? Right. Man. Then you got to get your benefits. Hey, don't don't forget your benefits. You got to... Your, your health... <laughs> Insurance, life insurance, mm -hmm. uh, vision, dental insurance. You got to pay for all of that. Then you can, once mm -hmm. you get that out the way and your taxes out the way, then you still got to, then you still got to 
uh, you know, like other expenses that you got to take out. And then you look at your net, your how much you got out of that. So basically, uh, three. let's just say the low end, $3,000, because everybody like to say the high end. But let's just say three thousand mm-hmm. dollars. After you get after it, it's two. It's a two part thing when it comes to uh, ten ninety nine. First part is your 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 gross, which is let's just say three thousand dollars. Out of the, the mm-hmm. first part is what the company is going to take out for the truck costs for right. the, you know, and I'm I'm saying truck costs for everything the. The the yes. the weekly payment insurance. insurance and all like that. So that that's the first yeah. part. Then after they take out that part, then it's gonna be like, okay. Um uh, the again, I'm I'm back on the low end uh of three thousand dollars. Let's say three thousand dollars gross. After they you know, take out whatever, 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 then it probably might bring it down to like maybe twenty five hundred. Out of that twenty five, mm-hmm. out of that twenty five hundred, and I'm still going with the low end. Don't don't quote me on all of this. I'm just going. I know. You know. Um, after that, then you got to take out your part, which is like we said before: insurance, health insurance, uh, taxes, and all like that. Then once you take all mm-hmm. that out, then your take home will be anywhere between maybe 1500 maybe 1800 to 1500 you see what i'm saying yeah so yeah. after and it may be we we just using the low end right so we're not yeah. we're not saying 5000 6000 to 10000 like everybody else like the like to say that they make but we just yeah. using we just using the low end considering the fact that you're a new driver it ain't ain't no telling how they going to run you, you know, whether if you get percentage, how many loads you're going to get within the week to 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 make some money. If you run CPM, ain't no telling if you're going to do 3000 miles a week or more or whatever the case. So we just use that that 3000 as the borderline. Now, you can make more or it might be right. less. So if you're if you're interested in getting in the lease, you know, for, you know, for more reasons than just the money, because that's what everybody talks about. They, hey, we can make more money and, and all like that, because a lot of leases fail because of the money. You see what I'm saying? Right. So with that, with that said, if you want to get into like owner operating, you want to know how to do your fuel costs you want to get a ballpark on how much a truck costs every week uh you want to you know you you want to see where the where the um where where the market's at as far as getting your loads and that's another thing too when you go lease because some companies yeah we we got a dispatcher for you that dispatches your loads for you and all like that and you could choose what load you want to take. So, you know, you could, we'll, we'll give you a, a B or C and then you choose, mm-hmm. you'd be like, let me get B, you know what I'm saying? But B might not be as good as a, or a might not be as good as C. Can I get on the load board? Because that's another thing that you're going to have to learn in the, in the future is getting on a load board and choosing your own loads. You see what I'm saying? If you still got a yeah. if you still got a dispatcher that's choosing your loads, you're it's okay. But choosing your own loads would be like, okay, that gives me that gives me a better understanding on if I get out to Oklahoma, this load to get me to Oklahoma, but then how am I going to get back? What load yeah. do do I got a deadhead? at some amount of miles or something like that, that give you a chance to study the board and the amount of money that, that you could, that you could take a lot of drivers. They, they say $2 a mile is the minimum. I, my truck ain't, my truck ain't moving for, for nothing less than $2 a mile. Okay, cool. But you got other drivers that's taking loads like a dollar 50, a dollar 75 cent. 
And that's what brokers like like with new new people that's getting into the trucking industry that want to be on or out. Well, they don't know nothing. They they don't know if they go a thousand miles at a dollar a mile ain't no money. You know what I'm saying? We we could get them. Yeah. So that gives you an opportunity to 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 learn. You know what I'm saying? So and that I do. That I do. Mm-hmm. So you get in, get your money, get in. If you want to go that way, get in, get your money, get out. Or if you want to get in, learn to learn the little. I mean, the business a little more. You know, just figure out which which route you want to take. You know, you get in and get your money, or get in and learn the business. You know what I'm saying? So that in the future, you you won't be you won't be hemmed up because I'm telling you. You know, being an owner operator, after I talked to another driver, you're going to be subjected to the truck. There's going to be a yeah. lot less home time and a lot yeah. more subjected to the truck. Now, let's get to the let's get to the question. Freightliner or international? Now, me personally, I can't answer that, I guess, but I can give an opinion. Um Okay. And I drove both of them. I, I drove Freightliner. I ain't had no problems with it. And I drove an International. And I ain't had no problems with that one either. I mean, I, I guess, I guess what it comes down to, Sade, is 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 your personal preference. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people will slide was uh, Freightliner due to the fact that it's less. Uh, you know that it, it depends on what year you get because you know you get you get something like a 2016 2017 then you you know that the breakdowns might be a little bit more versus a 2020 or a 2021 or you know something later so that's basically mm -hmm. what you got to look at you know which which one that will offer you less uh less of a headache i should say uh, me yeah. personally, I, I, I guess I'll stick with a freight liner, you know, for leasing. I, I guess if that's, if that's the only options that I have between a freight liner and an international, then I, I, I guess I would go with a freight liner, you know, and, and, uh, and rock out with, and rock out with that. But then again, you know, talk to like you did, you know, you talk to the the maintenance guys to get, you know, to get their idea because of the because they the ones that actually do the work on the, on both trucks. And that give you more of an opportunity to be like, OK, well, Freightliner, like you said, you know, had electrical problems, this, that and the third versus uh, 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 international that might not give you that many problems. So, but as far as the engine, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a diesel, a, a diesel head. So if you tell me, and a, and a lot of guys will come, probably come after me. Well, you you don't know what type of engine, yada, yada, yada. No, uh, shit, this is as long as the motherfucker run. <laughs> right. No issues. No issues. It's very minimal issues. Right. right. Because if I can't, if I can't, I mean, if I'm getting a truck that's governed anyway, what's what's the point of of what type of engine? If it's a Cummings, Cat, uh, uh, D, whatever, Detroit, or whatever, as long as that motherfucker get me down the road <laughs> with no issues, then I'm I'm good. But you know. A lot of old school drivers will turn around. Well, you know, you don't know. You don't know what you drive. I'm driving a truck, bro. <laughs> right now, I'm driving. I'm driving a Mac with a uh, with a M with a MX engine, whatever the whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> you know, and my truck is governed at seventy at, at seventy. So, yeah, <laughs> that part. Mm. But um, okay. but. Yeah, what you doing, Sade? I I do applaud you. I definitely applaud you for for the for the research that 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 you're doing because you know, like most drivers, they just get the stars in their eyes and just jump head first into in into leasing without even without even know 
you know, know the sacrifices that other drivers uh, been through. You know, that's why I like I, I like to get a handful of information, not just from the happy go lucky driver that be like, oh, well, jump in the lease and I make I make eight thousand. I make eight thousand a week and yada, yada, yada. And I do this. But I want right. to talk. I want to talk to the driver that failed at it. Like, bro, what happened? What was your mistake? Yeah. What, what you was, felt like? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah, Sade. Yeah, hey, I. You go, girl. <laughs> the blue haired right, trucker. Well. <laughs> Thank you so much for your advice. Thank uh, you. You're very welcome. Any you you know what's up. You you know what's up. Anytime, Sade. Anytime. So congratulations on uh congratulations on your first year trucking. Hopefully there's many more. And of course, uh and of course, you know, we we we're on all the time. So anybody if anybody that's gonna pray for you for your success it's gonna be me <laughs> i appreciate that I no appreciate doubt that. no doubt i got you i got you there's something in the air tonight got a feeling coming over me i swear that this is that place to be in the water in the, the water